Okay, let's say you're looking for to have a trust like this. And they give you A B C D E and they give you a load, let's say a load P, right? And they tell you look look for the force in the in this this one, in the B C in the B C component. So what do you do? First you need to, to know that these pins have force in the in the y direction and another one in the x direction. Force E X force EY. And the same thing for the A components. So what do you do? Okay. To solve this problem you're going to have to, to make to use a method of cross sections. By in order to get a method of cross section you first are going to have to have these forces. So first the thing the first thing you do you solve for these forces around one of these points. How do you do that? If you if you take some of the force in the y direction, you will get two unknowns and you won't be able to know it. So you take a sum of moments at E or an A. In this case, because we're looking for this component, we're gonna take a summation of moments at, at E. So we make summation of moments at E is equal to zero. Okay, so you have this force no. Mm, yes, measure moment zero. You have this force, and you have this p. So your measure moment is going to be equal to. No, sorry, I got it wrong. You're gonna make summation of moments at point A because you're because you're going to use the method of cross section. So you want this load to be able to solve for this part, not this one. Okay, so you get your your moment around point A. Let's say the distance is x, and the distance is x again to make it symmetrical. So the summation of moments is going to be minus p times x, p times x plus this force u y times two x's. I'm an X twist. This one doesn't have a component because it goes through the through the through the A point. So now in order to get the E Y you just solve for the force E Y. The force E Y is going to be equal to P times X over two X and this is going to be your force E Y. Now to get the the force in BC, you may give you the method of cross section. So you cu you cut the pin, and then you get the, this this loads. You put all of them in tension. You got a force PD, your force BC. This is the one you're looking for, and your force AC, I think. Yeah. And then you have these loads P and forcing the y direction that we already know what, what is it and you also have your force in the x direction but you really don't need that so we have this, this force in the in the y direction so what do we do if we make a summation of moments in the x direction we're going to have a summation of forces in the x direction we will we will have this one and this one we won't be able to solve for this one if we cannot make summation of moments because the same thing will happen we'll have too many unknowns so what we do is we make we make a summation of of forces in the y direction because you, we have this force that we know it, have this force that we know it, and we have this force that is the one we're looking for. We just have to get the component force in the y direction. So what do we do? We make summation of forces in the y direction is equal to zero. Then you go force in the e y minus p plus force PC that is the thing we're looking for times uh, 
opposite over hypotenuse, so this is a sign. Uh, the we, we, we know this angle, it's 45 degrees, I guess. But yeah, we can get the sign, that, that angle easily, so I won't do that. Time the sign of the angle. And we then you just solve for for CB, or this equal to zero, in order to to get the the solution for this problem. So your force in C in BC is going to be equal to the this is AY is equal to P X over two X. So we're gonna to do that. P X over two X plus P minus the extent and then we have the sign so that will be a negative sign so uh, then it was going to be that is going to be sign to the minus one or negative sign of of the P X to X plus P And this is going to be your solution for the force in C B C. Force in B C.